for the average user, yeah. Oh yeah, it's not an easy thing. Hmm. That's why I like Bitcoin. I think Bitcoin works rather well. Rather proud of it. So you got any ideas on what the thing will be after that then? Like No. Nah, not yet. I wanna see how Bitcoin goes. I think at the moment Bitcoin I think is doing the best job. Okay. Yay, it's recording! Anyway. Oh this again. Why not? <laughs> I'm gonna turn it more into the light. Into the light, my son. No, no, but yeah, Bitcoin just is incredible because I, I think I see it growing. That there are, one of the reasons, like, not actually been speaking about it too much, is that I wasn't sure that this actually could work. I didn't the understand. More... I, I watched. I literally, yeah, I spent two, three hours when I first heard mm. about it as well. Because yeah, I think Dan first told me about it. Yeah, I saw it a, a little bit. Oh, I remember seeing it a little bit before Dan, and I totally ignored it. And then as Dan brought it up again, and you were saying, I was like, oh, let's have a look. Yeah. And then it was literally a late night thing. I was like, oh fuck it, I'll just download this miner. And I ended up doing it, I'm running it through my graphics card. Um, cool. It's really great. And uh, I, I woke up the next morning and made two bucks. I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> two, two bucks while I'm sleeping. Yeah, yeah that's kind of sweet. <laughs> so that was good fun. So I've been doing that. Next I'll connect it up to your brain and then yeah. you pay with your dreams. It's, it's just such a good way of um, going about it. It's I don't know, actually buying stuff, and like the innovation that's there, it's a very small group of people who are doing it at the moment. They're expanding like crazy, they're actually giving out a 20 Bitcoin bounty to any website you can ask to actually start contributing, actually start selling, uh, start accepting Bitcoins. Oh, right, get them to use it. Yeah. yeah. So it's very, um, it's very exciting. Well, in fact, the Singularity is University is doing there's, it. Is anyone, there's no central person controlling, so everyone's no. just helping push it. Exactly. There, there, there's, a, like, there's a core group of people who are like, you know, the developers and stuff, but they can only get their code accepted if everyone else in the network accepts it as well. So they have absolutely no control no over control it? No control over it whatsoever. It's a labor of love. That is fucking brilliant. Yeah, labor of love is... So that, that 20 coin prize, that's just like the whole community. That's like, the whole community. Like, like, wouldn't it be awesome if websites yeah. could exactly. actually accept this? Let's exactly. offer a prize. And what, they all like pitch in and stuff? Yep. Or like yeah, well, that's what happened with the six and a half thousand dollar um, animation. They did a poll saying who wants this. Everyone's like, yeah, I'll donate some money to yeah. that. And then as soon as the, everyone started voting on it, and then that people got it. That is fucking amazing. It's incredible. And like, it's it's a totally community driven currency. It's it's fantastic. This is like, this is going to have its niche. This is going to be a big part of it. Yeah, it's a very utopian ideal. It's, yeah. It's happening. It can work really, really well. Still hasn't. It's still Very not doing excited. the whole. It's still not doing the whole getting paid for your thoughts thing though. Oh god, no. There's still a lot more that has to go with it. But this is the best, best implementation I've seen of it. Mm. It's very. I think this is going to be the really the new way to go about it. Because those other ones like you know Ripple and Flues and Beans and stuff are all yeah. hectic. <laughs> it's yeah. lame. Oh, do they have like a um, symbol? Yep. Like a dollar symbol. BTC. Mm. They're called. Uh, but it uh, looks like a coin with a... Oh, it's just a B in it. But BT. Mm. Yeah, but... Yeah, very exciting. I'm very excited. <coughs> I really want to create just um, oh. really quick, 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 quick things um, on it. So I checked out um, Odesk and all of that. Wouldn't they just be able to, those sites be able to just incorporate themselves in there? Yeah, true. But they're not, not yet. And it's not based around the Bitcoin currency. Like, you have to go on its um, strengths. I mean, five strength is, you know, just obviously five bucks. Whereas with Bitcoin, you're not traced. You can do anything you like. Yeah. So like, how, how would you... The, the, uh, you'd put your hash code on a piece of paper as you, as, you, as you complete it. Your hash code is like your specific wallet address. Yeah. What, what about an escrow service? Yeah, the, I think that's happened. Oh, has it? To go I was just thinking, like, five, like, how do how you know they've done it? Yeah. What's the verification process? That well, you do the verification of them, uh, like, if they actually did it, and then they put up their hash code, send the money to this hash code. The, the hash code's, like, you know, 28 characters or... And, um, well, so, well, sure. there, there, there has to be an escrow service. Why? Because you got to verify that that person actually did what they wanted. Otherwise, if it's anonymous, they just be like, oh, thanks for that, and then not pay them. I don't understand. Say, say you wanted a, so I, I wanted a service from you, and like, I'll pay you this much. Yeah. Only after you've done the service. Yeah. You do the service and then they'll pay you and I'll take off. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, there'd be a, they, I mean, that's where you can incorporate into it, that they, they pay first, and then only once, they, once they've been accepted, once they actually say, yeah, it's done. Oh, okay. Yeah. So they've already got escrow services. They've got stuff like that, yeah. I haven't looked into that too much. I've got a few, a 
lot of them at the moment are all focusing on the different banking implementations and all the ways to do it that way. And there's a few people, like there's quite a few merchants out there. You can actually buy quite a lot of stuff. But it's those gimmicky things. I think it'll be great to just create really small, I mean basic of the basic type stuff, like no no design in it just, you know, just does what it's meant to do because everyone who's using it now are like, you know, full on geeky hackers. It's great, just like us. And so, yeah, need to create just basic, basic, basic services, things like, you know, Fiverr clone or anything uh, fun and anonymous that you could go through. Like there are a lot of different marketplaces out there. None of them have hit traction just because, again, you know, eBay ripoffs and stuff. Oh, right, okay. So I think there needs to be that, you know, kind of crazy shit. Like community type. Yeah. Something that utilizes the, what community the best parts of Bitcoin. Money? I don't know. Like, mostly, you do communities that use a lot of them, like, based around money, really. Yeah. Specifically ones who don't want to be tracked and just want to remain totally anonymous. Accepting services in, I think, is a good idea. Um, yeah, and something to think about anyway. Oh, yeah, your video card might be able to actually make um, bitcoins as well, if you're at all interested. Yeah, yeah, I'll try now. It's, um, it's, there's a bit to it that you probably set up with you, because you, you do this thing called pooled mining. Yeah, so that's why I was asking, like, is it difficult to set up? Like, it's, it's not that, but it's just to actually know what it all means. Yeah, because it should just be, a, like, you should just install an XE. And that's all you have to do and go through, but to actually know what's going on. Because um, mm -hmm. what you do is, like, you know how I said, it's only sent out six times every hour, yeah. 50 bitcoins. To the whole like, thing. To the whole thing. So it's like, well, I'm never going to get paid for that. But what you can do is a thing called pooled mining, which means that everyone submits all their hash, all the stuff that they're actually doing, like the, the hashes, yeah. to this one pool. And then that one pool then submits it all. So what you do is like I'm part of this one called a deep bit, which is one of the, the big popular ones. There used to be one called Bitpenny, but they went under, unfortunately. That was the first one. Anyway, but deep bit, they've got like I do on average 290 mega hashes a second. And they do, with everyone all contributing to their pool, they do about 91 giga hashes a second. And they contribute, they are roughly make up about 30% of all Bitcoin mining operations. Right. And so that means that they get about 30% of all the 50 Bitcoins. And so then what they do is they just contribute out those 50 Bitcoins to the people who contributed the most. Oh, okay. So that means that for every you know mega hash I actually send out, I actually get paid every second. Yeah. Just... I just thought of a few ideas. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, something, I don't know how you'd work with the whole anonymity and plugging in with, but um, mm -hmm. an NFC app. NFC. Some type. Near field communications. Right. Like, could, if you could pay with yeah, yeah, for sure. with bitcoins using your phone, yeah, and then even like a card system, like imagine if you could just because I'm just trying to work out how can we yeah, yeah the yeah, more yeah. you can actually leech it into the real world, yeah, the more it'll grow and become like bigger. It's probably not it that that'll probably be the thing that'll end up being, but I think at the moment it's still just very much the internet currency. Yeah, but because the whole growing thing, I mean, that's that's going to happen a lot there, but it's kind of that this allows people to be totally anonymous online. I mean, could do the, because no one, like, I mean, there's only four million or four and a half million dollars worth of it in circulation. It's like nothing there. Yeah. So it needs to be like kind of, you? like, I mean, the people at the moment are still focusing on even making a good implementation of the merchant system. It's still really hard to do. Oh, okay. So it's not like a one click. No, I, like I looked into this. it. It was kind of a bit of a pain. I posted on Odesk and people were like, oh yeah, I can do it. It's like, mm, yes. <laughs> Maybe that's the first thing to do. Like, it should uh, just be as as yeah, it's as simple as like, I have this, you have that, Yeah. This is, here we go, press the button, it does it. Yeah, people are really working on that. Which is pretty cool. I, I don't know, just some of the, the gimmick stuff, like, I mean, because it is totally anonymous, and I mean, like, you know, the whole drug thing and stuff, I mean, the whole thing that got me thinking, this is horrible, I probably really shouldn't say this on camera, but um, an assassination network. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, an assassination network. Oh, man. You, I mean, we, they gave out six and a half grand to create a good animation. You make an assassination network. I'll donate ten bitcoins for anyone who kills Bill O'Reilly. <laughs> you get enough oh, people man. doing that. You actually post your hash code over the corpse of Bill O'Reilly. You get paid like a million bucks. Jeez, <laughs> oh, can't be traced. You wouldn't be traced. Yeah. Totally anonymous. Um, God. Yeah. That's definitely a possibility. There's no reason why that can't work. Yeah. Any any crime as well, because part of the reason. Yeah. Part of the tracking of crime is just all transactions, eh? Hey? Yeah. Laundering like, money. 
Unless they, yeah, yeah, wandering away, exactly. Yeah, so, I mean, they, they really don't want to go this way, and I don't think it really should, because it'll destroy it. Yeah, it will. <laughs> but it's going, it's going. <laughs> it's, it's Imagine if like, uh, the, the mafias around the world caught onto it, like the Russian mafia. Yeah. And... Which I, I don't really, wow, that roof is getting even worse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not good. That's why I think if you get a post and like, yeah, I agree. Just put it up there. I'll move my desk over, Rosalie. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, there's, I mean, there's those benefits of the system. I don't really want to create anything like that. I think that's horrible. <laughs> um, I could not live with myself. Um, but especially because she can't profit off it, so there's no. I mean, you can always profit off it. You just take ten percent. Oh, if every Bitcoin. Yeah. Why not? You can oh, set yeah, up that. Yeah, 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 for sure. Oh, okay, fuck, yeah, do that. Yeah. <laughs> Assassin Network it is. Yeah, right. <laughs> I have a feeling that's why the guy like Satoshi Nakamoto or whatever uses an alias because he could become one of the most hated people. Yeah. <laughs> in a way of like, you know, illegal operations to yeah. trade. Yeah. What about things like uh, selling like state secrets and information? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Selling really highly, highly sensitive information. Yeah. Like, it, like WikiLeaks, like imagine if you could sell shit to WikiLeaks. Yeah. And Bitcoin would be perfect for that. So, uh, yeah. It'll be created. Like Bitcoin will be the one that actually does it. <laughs> That's why I mean like governments are gonna come after it and fast. Yeah, they, it's nothing they can do. I mean it's great, like if you do any business operations with it, no tax as well, no nothing. Yeah, there's nothing they can do. Yeah, no tax yeah, so you just put the only issue is that how do you cash out? How do you cash you can't cash so, out anonymously though. Uh no, no, you wouldn't be able to. So you can only operate anonymously within the system itself. Yeah, until you actually get paid and then you're back into normal money, I guess. Yeah, so you'd only be able to use the money to buy a ship within the system. Yeah, I mean, you could always cash out. Like, I mean, no one knows where you got those Bitcoins from. They can never track where those Bitcoins came from. But would, so, wouldn't you have to go through a bank and they'd be like, oh, you just suddenly ended up with, you suddenly have $100,000 in money. Where'd you get it from? Like, yeah, you just say, oh, this Bitcoin thing. Oh, Bitcoin. Yeah, and then they look at Bitcoin. They can't tell where the money came from. All I can say is no, that it came from Bitcoin. Well, they'd be like, well, that's a taxable income. Yeah, they could do it then. Yeah. Yeah. But that, so they could, yeah, they that could incorporates, it. like, if you actually tra put it into US dollars, like, there are people setting up networks to, like, you know, buy food, buy everything on it. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Start buying everything through Bitcoins. Buy food through it. Yeah. This is like the awesome barter card system. Yeah. It's like it's what, perfect. what barter card is trying to do. Yeah. Get rid of all the taxes. Oh, man. Governments will fucking hate it. <laughs> yeah. But we, we've got to do something like just quick, basic apps. I mean, dirty of the dirty. Like, I'm starting to try and get a name in the forum or like some writing. Just tons of different ones and just like pump out apps that are quick and basic and easy. I'm thinking like even like, you know, a you know, Hive AI type thing with just like literally, literally copying the site, doing a different background and then changing it. Like, what are your favorite Bitcoin ideas or something or something like that. Yeah. Just so we can start getting a name in this community. Like this community is small, but it is yeah, growing ideas. fast. Yeah. I really like the Bitcoin. Would you want to be uh, known though if you're making these little apps? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think go the go the high road, not the. I, I don't want to make the assassination network. I just don't. It's on camera now. I know. But <laughs> Look, we have to be realistic here that this is it's Someone's going to leave it now. Yeah, it's as soon a possibility. As they upload this, it's out in the ether. It's not a hard thought to come up with. Yeah. Well, any illegal activity is just yeah. going to flood. That's, yeah. what, that's actually probably a good thing for Bitcoin, because I think that'll actually propel it. Yeah, but then it demonizes it. It does, but then there's nothing you can do to stop it, and then it'll, it'll, yeah. an equilibrium will form, yeah. and everyone else who isn't into illegal activities will be like, Oh, I can use it for my, you know, buying food or, you know, yeah, getting a service. So, see, I don't think other people will. I think if anyone jumps on and it starts demonizing it, like, I mean, the very fact that the Silk Road is there. But how, there's, no, how, there's absolutely no way it can be shut down. No, but, I mean, public opinion can turn against it, and if everyone stops using it, then the thing becomes worthless. But then, no, no, I, I actually think it do the other thing. You think it end up becoming good, because... I think, I think, I think, uh, if criminal organizations, like, there is so much, there must be, like, hundreds of billions of dollars that are like yeah, all yeah, underground money that's never traced and it's all like illegal activity. Yeah. Like... Yeah, yeah, could put into it. I just don't like the idea of there's not organizations like, using it. It's like, 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 even uh, like, like marijuana crops in the States, even though it's like, like, so like you know, you pay yeah, it's, points, it's just it's uh, like billions and billions of dollars. Apparently, 1% uh, of all electricity generated in the US goes towards growing marijuana. <laughs> Lovely. Okay. I just, I, I don't like that idea, like, I, I think there are better, you can create like a small app or something fun for it to be able, able to be used. You can, but it's, I, I see that's the way it's going to go. Yeah, yeah. 
criminal organizations, will, but then they'll propel it, it'll be really big and everyone will be using it yeah. and it'll get a, ma a massive notorious name. Yeah, but then people, more, more people will use it. Yeah. People start to, it'll get out from this publicity. Yeah, yeah, true. And they'll be like, oh wait, I can, it's anonymous, I can't be tracked, I can't yeah. be traced, there's no taxes, I can buy all these other stuff as well. Well, so that's why I'd like to do something like Fiverr or something small, like I think Fiverr's just a nice, quick, easy thing. Yeah. And even some other ones where you just say what you do for other stuff or you post what you do for this. Like there are marketplaces like eBay, but they're not... Yeah. They're not that good. The one thing it could do though, is it could actually promote violence and destruction in the world. It could, and I think it really would. The Assassination Network. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Anonymous and stuff, are you kidding me? Like, hey, look, this person just did something horrible. Let's put a bounty on their head. Go to this website and do it. Yeah. Jesus Christ, that's nasty. It's surely, it's surely that, you wouldn't spread the global culture like that. That wouldn't, it'd yeah, still be a small minority of people. You're not going to have like the whole of the earth go, oh, that's acceptable behavior. No, but how can they shut it down? Well, they can't, but I'm, I'm saying what I mean. like, <laughs> but I'm saying like, if you get everyone onto the Bitcoin network, there's only going to be a small fraction that actually does that yeah. and stuff. But I, I mean, you get people like now. anonymous now that's like, hey, I'll contribute five dollars to see the death of Bill O'Reilly. Yeah, I probably would. Like, <laughs> I didn't mean me personally. I mean like fourteen-year-olds and all of that. You know, people without any ethics or moral compass. Oh yeah, it's like that uh, that that uh, that movie where you you visit the site and other times and it tortures them. Yeah. The number of visitors. Yeah. It's a, there's a disconnect. Yeah. It's not like if you paid five dollars to kill Bill O'Reilly, you wouldn't expect it to happen. Yeah, but then and then if it did happen, you wouldn't really feel guilty for it or anything. Yeah, I know. Yeah. You're like, well, I, I only paid five hundred five dollars. It's like how many other people pay five dollars? Yeah, no, it's not me. Yeah. So that could be one a brain up. drop feels depression for the flood. Well, isn't that that's another issue to solve? Yeah. That's another problem to solve. It's going to be something that happens. I think. I don't know. As I want, yeah, small apps. We can do something small like. Fiverr clone and just get known to the community. They're a very tight knit community. I quite like them. They're nice. Mm. And there's been nothing here because everyone's focusing. The, the big money at the moment is all in the banking system that they're doing. It's probably bad to set up like something with it. I like more of the product angle. And it's fun. You've also got the, um, you've also got the issue of like if you do the take it. If you, if you get a profit motive with all of them, you take a percentage, yeah. and then someone else just does one with no profit motive yeah. for free, then everyone's just going to use that one. True, but it's probably kind of like PayPal and I call it there, if you become the standard before. Yeah, make it easy. Yeah, that's it, make it, it easy, easy and stuff, stuff. yeah. Be cool. See ya. Bye. Mm.